There are three places on our motor contactor that can give an indication of a problem when engaging a pump. When looking at the standard motor contactor that's pre-wired in the factory, you'll see wire in terminals L1, L2, and T1, T2. You'll also see wires connected to terminals A1 and A2 at the top of the motor contactor. The wires at L1, L2, and T1, T2 are the pump connections from the bus bar at the bottom of the control panel and T1 and T2 should only have power when the motor contactor engages. You'll notice wires in terminals 13 and 14. These are auxiliary signal connections that can be disregarded for the purposes of these tests. Terminals A1 and A2 receive power from the control circuit breaker to energize the coil in the motor contactor. Power should be present when the handoff auto switch is in manual or the float timer is engaged in the auto position. Terminals L1 and L2 receive power from the pump circuit breaker. There should always be power present at L1 and L2 when the pump circuit breaker is in the on position. Repeat this process with terminals L1, L2, and T1, T2. If you don't have power at any of these terminals, or the motor contactor doesn't engage in the manual position, you may need to replace the motor contactor. If you have any questions about panel operations, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-348-9843, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Time.